Hello all. I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of Basic Electrical Engineering Laboratory. In this video, I am going to discuss important viva voce questions from the experiment, namely verification of maximum power transfer theorem. Moving on to the session, let us have a brief discussion one by one. So I have listed out a few probable questions related to this particular experiment. First question is, state and explain maximum power transfer theorem, MPTT. So in case of maximum power transfer theorem, you can explain in this fashion to try to come back to the point the maximum power is transmitted or transferred from source to load when the source resistance is equal to the load resistance. So we can write it as RTH is equal to RL. So RTH is considered as the source resistance where RL is considered as load resistance. RTH is also known as Turing's resistance, RTH. Or else you can call it as, as a first year student, you just remember that the maximum power transfer is taking place when the load resistance is equal to the source resistance. For fourth semester or fifth semester, you will be learning for AC circuit also. Turing's theorem, which can be applied for AC circuit, at that time you will be learning in detail. What is the second question? What is the efficiency of circuit during maximum power transfer theorem? It is 50 percentage. We already did the proof in the theory part, 50 percentage. Okay, at the time of maximum power transfer theorem, circuit efficiency is 50 percentage. What is the value of maximum power transfer from source to the load? Let us write the maximum value of power. PM is equal to E naught square divided by 4 into RL, where E naught, E naught is the EMF or supply voltage, RL is the load resistance, okay, load resistance in ohms. What do you mean by internal resistance? For example, if I talk about a battery or a source, certain amount of resistance is present inside the source that is referred as internal resistance. So you may represent like along with the battery, whatever it may be, along with the battery or any type of sources, you can mark like this. This is your R internal. Okay. All together we can represent in this fashion. That is also expressed in terms of ohm itself. Give some applications of maximum power transfer theorem. Maximum tra power transfer theorem is applied in solar photovoltaic panel. If you talk about solar photovoltaic system, there is one concept called maximum power transfer. Sorry, maximum power point tracking. Maximum power point tracking. Maximum power point tracking method or technique. So it works based on a maximum power transfer theorem. The, that is, PV panel output varies with respect to solar irradiance. That means, with respect to changes in irradiance, the panel output is getting varied using the maximum power point tracking technique. We are trying to operate the PV panel at its maximum power. So we'll be identifying, we are trying to operate the PV panel forcefully at its maximum power to achieve the maximum efficiency. That technique is known as maximum power point tracking technique or MPPT. We call it as MPPT. Also, it is used in audio amplifier, audio amplifiers, then radio tuning, etc. related to maximum power transfer theorem. These are the various applications. So if you are having any queries, I request everyone uh, to put up 
your questions or queries in your comment box please don't forget to give the suggestions for the improvement thank you for watching this video and uh, i am always grateful for your continuous support let me conclude the session we will meet with uh, another video in the forthcoming session happy learning thank you